the way Conor got his title, he got it by his mouth and the way he pros himself. And I, I can't hate him for that. But it just sucks for someone that's, you know, been taught hard work gets it done, grit gets it done, being a company guy gets it done, being a good person gets it done. And that didn't get it done for me. It's like I'm, I'm the Rodney Dangerfield of MMA, you know, I just can't get no respect. I grew up uh, here in Tom's River. Jersey Shore is where I'm from, not the TV show so much. I think my first baby pictures, I was rocking a gold chain. Five years old, I remember getting in my first street fight. My father told me, you're allowed to hit someone if someone hits you, or if someone says something about your mom. That, that was the two rules. The wrestling is just going to teach grit and toughness. It's kind of like life, you know, life ain't easy, wrestling ain't easy, and it sets you up for that. Probably training for three, maybe four weeks. Coach at the time was like, hey, we were doing a, there's a smoker show in New York, do you want to fight in it? A couple weeks after the Jim Miller fight, they had tryouts for the Ultimate Fighter. And I got in front of the producers, and you know, I'm not Mr. Personality, I guess. Like, dude, what do I have to do? I have to scream and shout and say I'm the best fighter in the world? I'll do it, because I, I believe I'm the best fighter in the world. We're in a world of social networks, Facebook, Twitter, this and that. So words mean more than actions now. Frank's the complete opposite, and them kind of guys need to be admired. I'm the closest guy to become a two-division champion in this sport right now, not Conor McGregor. We're just doing what we do best, and that's getting that cage and, and to fuck people up as good as we can. Every time he gets in there, man, he shows something different. He gets better and better, and he's just hungry. I remember walking back to the locker room, and I threw up from just being exhausted. One of my corners was like, put your arms up, and I'm like, for what? I knew I lost. Everyone's talking about Mendez. He's the one that has the power. It still didn't turn out good for me. I know Jose's been talking, saying he's going to knock me out. I've been thinking about nothing but getting the title back. I've been through it all. I have all the pieces, and now I get to put a stamp on everything.